Welcome, my fellow hunters. How are you doing today? This is my Let's Play of Monster Hunter Rise, and I have some new armor on. Let's go. Let's go take a look. See how it looks. So we are rocking some layered stuff, and I do have a little bit of new armor to actually take a look at. All right. So most of the stuff is the same as our last quest. I guess I can look at our front. Um, but I do have the Baroth Coil. It's a new set. It's got two points of guard and a point of defense boost. And then we have Geologist gemmed into it. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with this layered set. We've got just the Black Belt, Helm, Mail, Tassets, and Greaves layered over top. And then we get to see our beautiful Renopolis braces with these fancy claws, uh, which I'm a big fan of. It's like I either want my sets to look like really nice and like put together, or I want them to be kind of ridiculous. Um, and this this hits the the ridiculous button, um, especially because I was able to do some armor pigment colorizing, make everything a little bit purple, which which just doesn't really mesh with the orange of the black belt set very well. But um, you know what? I, I kind of like it. Um, so today we're going to be taking on a new quest here in high rank. We have two monsters left in five star. We have a Bishitin that we need to fight, or we can fight a Rathian, and I think we're going to fight the Rathian today. Charmed by a Queen. It's from a reckless artist, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. We must go at once. As we speak, the Queen herself is gracing the Shrine Ruins. I must capture her majesty in all its glory, but I hear Rathian are rather difficult to work with. You know, I Perhaps you can assist me. So Let's do it. Do? Good luck out there. Let's be charmed by a queen. I have eaten some dango. I have retrieved my items, and we are good to go. This will be easy. This will be easy. Oh, we do have. A surprise monster gracing our presence today. Um, I know what this monster is, and we are gonna go. We're gonna go take a look. So yeah, the a little question mark on the map. That means it's a monster that we haven't defeated before. It, um, based on its location, I know what it is. It is a monster that I have seen in my solo play. Um, just today, actually, when I was getting some extra materials. But it is not one that we have seen together, and it is not one that I have slain. So we're gonna go ahead and oh, no, 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 yep, run up the hill. That takes care of that. That'll take us right up here. And then it's right up here. It is a sleepy Rajang. These monsters are kind of terrifying. And so we don't really want to tussle with it. But what we do want to do is we want to ride it. And we want to use it to beat up. We want to use it to beat up on our Rathian friend. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this sucker down the mountain. Hey, can we not go down the mountain? I thought we could. I thought we'd be able to go down the mountain. Well, that kind of stinks. Maybe we should have done the stink work. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna get some shinies. Normally, I want to use the. See ya. Do we not get shinies when we do that? I guess we don't. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a waste. I really wanted to beat up on the Rathian with the Rhyang, because they are really powerful monsters for biting. But that's okay. We'll just come this way and we'll play with a Rathian friend.
Oh look, Rajang erased us with his presence after all. He actually might get a write-off on this rapid class. That beam when you're when you're riding a Rajan can do some crazy awesome damage. Here it comes! Looks like it ran away. That's okay. Some full burst. Yeah, we're, not, we're, gonna, we're gonna die. Nope, we're not gonna die. Alright. That did a lot of damage. Now we're just kind of running for our lives. I'm kind of in this weird little hallway. I don't really want to be here. Let's see if we can get it back out of this direction. It's grumpy. There we go. Knock it out of this guy. That antidote going. Run away, run away. This one's gonna hit hard. Probably would have killed us. Let's do a mega potion. I think we're gonna do a little bit of a focus on its tail. Oh no, you don't! As we can. I'm gonna get you! Alright, we have a little bit of a break. I am really disappointed that I wasn't able to take the Rajang off that cliff. I guess I've never I'd never done it before. Like I'd never done it. In fact on the switch, I'd never gone and gotten the Rajang before. So I think in that situation you'd want to You'd want to use a stink mink. Sweep just takes so long to get out. It doesn't matter how much you mash the counter button. Oh, nice paralysis. Oh 
Oh no, we're out of shells. I missed again. Was not too shabby. Rathian is. More where that came from. I think I mentioned it back in the rank, but Rathian is kind of like a good practice monster. Because for the most part, her her tells are pretty easy to master, and Nine now. you can avoid her attacks. And she's got attacks that you can punish, like the the tail swipe or the tail flip, is one that's pretty well telegraphed and. It's kind of easy to get out of the way of, and you can punish it pretty hard. Plus, if you can take off her tail, that's a, a bunch of damage to the enemies because it reduces your range. You can technically get knockdowns. See, I, we probably would have gotten hit there. So that last bout was really good for us. Got lots of chances to good, do good damage. Got a Rathian scale off of the tail. That's a little bit disappointing. The scales are pretty common. But we'll have plenty of opportunities to get some more. I think Rathian will be one of those monsters we hunt quite a bit for the stuff. Also here, this is kind of cool. You can smack the bomb badges. 
and then they will uh, go careening off towards the direction that you hit them, and if they hit into a monster, they will do some damage. So you can do it. There we go. Super fun interaction. Not a great weapon. <laughs> Good job, buddy. And that was a high rank Rathian. Very good fun. I really appreciate the Rathian fight. They stay on the ground a little bit more than Rathalos. You can really punish them with their tail flips. But you can't really punish Rathalos's like fire breath attack when he like shoots a fire down. Which is un which is unfortunate. All right, and with that, we can go take a look at Rathian stuff. So first we'll look at weapons, tell me what you need. see if there's any new weapons we can take a look at. The Princess Panoply 2 takes another Rathian spike, we'll add that to our wishlist, perfect. Uh, Sand Blaster Gun Lance. I guess we couldn't see this before. So Princess Panoply has 180 raw. It only has green sharpness, but it does have poison and it's normal shelling here. level 4. The, time you need. the Sand Blaster from the Delix is wide shelling level 2, but it has 190 attack. to our wish list. It's kind of nice we're getting up here into these rarity 5 weapons. We have the Imperial Gun Lance, which is 190 raw, normal level 4. Why would I ever use this? For the water element? I don't, I don't think so. Maybe I just really want to use wide, but I feel like there's probably better options for wide at a higher shelling level. Uh, Pookie Pookie Tree we have. This has more poison than the Rathian. 34 poison, wide shelling level 3. Way less attack though. And a sliver of blue. So you'd, you'd probably run Rathian anyways. Because the extra attack is going to do more than the extra poison. Agnesom, we don't see yet. We need some more Suspicious Fangs. This calls for eight Suspicious Fangs. That's kind of crazy. Oh, that's already on our wish list. Okay. Um, we need some more Omniplegia Sacks for a Fulvidon Gun Lance. Need a Wyvern Jet. Blue Drought stuff, Banabra, we need to do some Banabra hunting. Okay, that's where we're at. In terms of gun lances, now let's go take a look at armors. So, for armors, we now have access to the Arathian stuff, which looks kind of nice. Pay no mind to my purple arms. They're supposed to be green. We've got Blight Resistance level 3, Recovery up, Botanist wide range, free meal. Um, I don't know. None of this stuff is really super important for us. But if you really had issues with Blights, you could run Blight Resistance. If you wanted to do some more recovery, you could run some of this recovery up stuff, but for the most part in Monster and Arise, you recover pretty fast from your potions, and so... Um, it doesn't seem like increasing your recovery is that big of a deal. But, you know, to each their own. Soon. And I think that is going to be it for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we will look to be taking on Bichatin and moving on from Five Star. So long, have a good hunt.